good on this side. You good on that side? Ezra's 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So hey, this is why the Lord is going to bring, what does it say, the, uh, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Because the wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. All right? Hey, things have uh, go has gone um, above and beyond, man. All right. Hey, you you got alphabet uh, the alphabet gang everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. no matter where you go, it's in the schools, on the television, on the radio. Okay, shit, shit. shit. While you're walking down the street, Disney. Okay, you see it everywhere. Hey, you, you got what? Uh, uh, polluted foods, water, air. Women and that are getting elevated left and right. Hey, this is wicked. And it's gotta uh, be destroyed, man. And before any good comes, this current system, this evil, wicked place, has to be wiped out, man. That's right. That's right. 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 It's, it's like uh, two kingdoms can't sit and rule at the same time. Yes. And if we're if we're talking about the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, a righteous kingdom, then this one right here has to be destroyed. Uh, All right. And this is what we're speaking because this is the will of the Father. All right, because the Most High, He said He tell you before He do things, before they spring up, He tell you of them. That's right. All right, and He tell you of them by way of the prophets that He has risen up. All right, the, the prophets who, and, and, and the scriptures tell you throughout, the prophets were always uh, despised. The prophets were always hated. The prophets were killed. All right, because of the message that they had. All right. Uh, Isaiah 34 1. Come here, ye nations, to hear and hearken, you people, let the earth hear and all that therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. The Lord is saying, Listen up, every everybody out here, listen up. This is what the Lord is saying, listen up. For the, for the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He has utterly destroyed them. He has delivered them to the slaughter. And ultimately, it's a spiritual prophecy to come. But this is why the Lord, the brothers just, the elders just going into. The Lord, the, the prophets came to, to, to deliver a message, and the people are not hearing. Thus says the Lord, this, this message is to be elect. Only yeah. right now. That's it. All right, because those are the ones that's going to be godly. Those are the ones that's going to be spiritual. All right, people like to throw this uh, word out. I'm not religious, I'm spiritual. 
All right, no, you ain't. All right, <laughs> see, because to be spiritual, that's to be godly. The scriptures talk about in that uh, Second Peter's, knowing that all these things shall be dissolved. How the Lord gonna come back with this uh, 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 great judgment, the great destruction. All right, it says, well, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all uh, holy conversation and godliness? Uh -huh. All right, so to to be godly, that's to roll with the Most High God. Yes, sir. It's the book of John, chapter ten, Amen. verse twenty-seven. It says, "My sheep hear my voice; I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish; neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand." So this is back to what the brother was going into. This message is only for the elect. That's right. That's the only ones that's going to understand and hear uh, what we're saying. Right? And then follow him. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? See, to follow him is to follow in his footsteps, to emulate him, all right, because he's the greatest example. And so we extol him, and then we try to emulate him to the best of our ability, all right? Those are the ones that's glorifying him on the earth. Because he said, I, I pray for them. Our Lord saved me. He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. All right? But for them which thou, the Most High God, has given me. All right? And he has given, the Most High God, Yahweh, has given Yahweh Shah the first fruits. All right? Starting off with the governing body. All right? Those that's in the ministry. All right? And then that's extended to the men, women, and children that's going to believe on Yahweh Shah through the words of the prophets. All right? Who's truly going to follow Yahweh Shah? The word of God. The will of God. We about that. We with it. I Go got, ahead. I got two for you. Did you mention the spirit, right? What is the spirit? This is John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. The word that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life. Woo! So the, the majority of you people, that you say that you're spiritual, but you don't follow the words of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Right. right. You know? They so, are, they're really about death. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Oh, it says, all that hate me love, love death. Yeah, yep. And it's clear because every time the word comes out, what do these people do? They fuck up. Yep. They yep. run away from it. Yep. All right? They yep. talk shit. So clearly they love a death style rather than a lifestyle. That's it. And that's what's going to be the reward. All right? They're going to get those plagues that we just read about. The sword, famine, death, destruction. That's what you're going to get because That's you it. don't love life. That's it. See, we're in a grace period right now to regenerate. We're in a grace period right now to, to kill the old man that rolled with the ways of the flesh, rolled with the ways of this world. Always quote or get that uh, scripture in 1 Corinthians. I'll quote it. It says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God, all right? Your faith should stand in the power of God. What thus says the Lord, go ahead, read. First Corinthians 2 and uh, 5. Uh, that your faith must start with uh, 4. That my speech and my preaching is not with enticing words of man's wisdom. See, the Apostle Paul saying in my, my speech and my preaching, it's not with enticing words of man's wisdom. That, that word uh, entice, go back to the Greek word uh, pithos, all right, which means uh, a persuasive or to make a friend. All right, we're not trying to persuade you or trying to uh, uh, make a friend, all right? We got a job to do. All, right. all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. It ain't about our opinions. It ain't about your opinions. That's right. It's about what thus saith the Lord in truth. It's his mind that we're speaking. And he's given us a, a, a measure of faith and a measure of understanding of his mind and the ability to teach it. And it ain't of this world. It ain't of the way that man's wisdom works where I go pay you to understand a skill that you have and now I can pay you and give you money to teach me that skill and now I have that skill. That's the way of man's wisdom. See, the power of the Lord is that he got all the power. And he goes it out for whom he will. All right, go ahead. Let's get to the word right here. Thank you. 
also have made us able ministers <laughs> of the New Testament, not of the latter, but of the Spirit. Hey. For the latter killeth, hey. but the Spirit giveth life. You see? And that's what we rolling with, man. Everything is through the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right? Even the goods that we do, the righteousness that we produce. Uh, that's all through the spirit and power of y'all by Shah. That's right. At least any man should vote. You know what I'm saying? But let's go back to that. Uh, first Corinthians 2 and 4. Yeah. And my speech and my preaching was not for enticing words of man's wisdom, uh -huh. but the demonstration of the spirit and of power. You see, but in demonstration of spirit and of power, and it's the most high that dictates the spirit. All right? And then he gives it to those able men that the brother was just reading about. That he had chosen from before the beginning of time. And we're going to keep reading. But you got some? Go ahead, brother. This is Acts 8 and 18. And when Simon saw that those men on, on of the apostles' hands of the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. <laughs> saying, give me also this power. See, Simon said, give me also this power. See, but his heart wasn't right. Peter said, man, your mind ain't right, man. Your heart ain't right. You trying to pay for this? You can't pay for the understanding of the mind of the Lord. All right? The Lord got to gift that to you. And it says, many are called, but few are chosen. That's right. It's only a few, all right, that has this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Everybody that think that they can decide for themselves to understand the mind of the Lord and then I'm going to go pay for it, your mind ain't right. You like this, this guy, Simon the Sorcerer, here. All right, when he seen uh, uh, the apostles speak the truth all through the spirit of power, y'all by Shri Yahweh Shai, then the Lord, to those certain individuals that they spoke to, that received their words, all right, it was the Lord that gave them the increase to receive the words that the prophets were saying. And that's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So those that taught and he gave the ability to teach, that was through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And those that received the prophets, all right, that was all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Wisdom of Solomon 821. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, this wisdom is knowledge, uh -huh. except the Most High gave her me, Woo! and that was a, a, a point of wisdom. See, that's a point of wisdom, all right? That is the Most High that, you know what, I can't even receive this unless the Most High make me receive it. It ain't that, oh, I'm going to decide on my own that, you know what, I want to know the Bible. There's a seminary school right down the way, you know what I'm saying? A seminary my man. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I'm going to go learn the Bible because that's my choice and I want to. And I am, I got money. So now I'm going to go pay to understand. See, you you, you don't have wisdom. Let, let, let the elders finish this. It says, uh, and that was the point of wisdom, also to know whose gift she was. Ooh, whose gift she was. To have a measure of faith and a measure of understanding of this word and truth, the mind of the Lord, that's a gift. And the gift is only given by the Most High God. That's right. That's why the scripture says that, hey, neither is he that planted anything, neither is he that watereth anything. We ain't nothing back here because I can't make you grasp the understanding of what I'm saying. I can't give you the grasp. I can only be the guy, and it's the most high that gives the increase to whom he will. Right. If he don't give you the increase of what I'm saying, I'm speaking foreign to you. You're not going to receive this. What you got, brother? Acts 8 and 20, but Peter said unto him, thy money perish with thee. Uh -huh. That thy money perish with thee. All these people that, and all these, uh, 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 what they call them, uh, uh, broke leg creatures or uh, jack leg creatures, boot leg creatures, uh, 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 that has went to a seminary school of this world. Cemetery. Seminary school, I'm sorry. Theology class or whatever. Moody Bible Institute, yeah. All the people that's up in there, 
all right? Your money is going to perish with you. All right, because they're not teaching you the, the, the mind of the Lord. All right, they're giving you the wisdom of men. But the Apostle Paul said my preaching and my teaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. You see? Because thou hast, hast thought that the gift of the Most High may be purchased with money. Damn, you thought the gift of the Most High can be purchased, purchased with money. All right, the gift is a measure of faith and understanding in this truth. All right, you, you can't go pay for it. Your money perish with you. All right, what you got, brother? This wisdom of Solomon 9 and verse 17, and thy counsel to have known except thou give wisdom. Damn. And sin and, thy right, it says, and thou counsel who have known. All right, what's the counsel of the Most High God? The understanding of this Bible here, which uh, Romans uh, uh, 11 and 33 says th this understanding is unsearchable. It's unsearchable. I always say you can bury your face in this book and read it a million times literally and not understand. I mean, you know, say, if you don't got that eye self, you're through. You know, because uh, what did it say in Proverbs 4 and 7? It's all that getting, get understanding. These people out, out here, they, they can't get the understanding, man. They may have a little knowledge, so to speak, but they don't have the true understanding, man. Well, see, you know. Uh, Right, because the true understanding right here, it leads to eternal life. It leads to eternal life. So if you could just find it on your own, this should be some motherfuckers that's living forever out here. Still, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, what a, a three, four, five thousand year old motherfucker. You know where he at? Because if you could just read this and understand it on your own, then you could be able to live forever. Go ahead, brother. This wisdom of Psalm 9 and verse 17, and thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. Right now, he has given the elect the earnest of the Spirit. All right? So we have a down payment. We have our measure. Right. But we understand that the Lord is going to give it to us all in the kingdom of heaven, all right? In our inheritance, he's going to put these laws, statutes, and commandments, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, he's going to write them into our inward parts, man. All right? And that we're going to be caused, all right? Caused to be an a, a, a image of the Most High's own eternity. All right, see, but right now, we have a measure of this understanding, and this is what we're speaking. And only the elect is going to adhere to it. Thus saith the Lord. All right, um, oh, let's uh, This is Galatians 1 and 1. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by men, but by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and Yahweh the Father who raised him from the dead. Read it again, brother. <laughs> Galatians 1 and 1. Paul, an apostle. Not of men, neither by men. Hey, I, I can look up right now. Uh, how many clergymen are there in the world? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's too many. So, I just Googled, and it said it was almost half a million clergymen, all right? A clergyman is one that has the word, all right, and teaches the people. Read that again. Galatians 1 and 1, Paul, an apostle, not of men. The ones I just looked up. That was of men. All right. The Apostle Paul said, nah, he's not a, a, a clergyman. He's not a, a apostle. He's not a teacher of the word of God by, by man. But by what? Paul, not apostle, not by men, neither by men, but by Yahweh Shai Mashiach and Yahweh the Father who raised him from the dead. You see? 
about your house by shooting y'all was shot. It was through his power. All right? It was through Yahweh Bashimi Awashai's power, man. And this is, uh, he's raising up clergymen. All right? Th that's not of this world. Go ahead. This is John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I gave unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. It's a done deal. That, that, that This is written. The movie is already over. All right? It's just being played out right now. And you're not going to pluck any of the elect out of the, uh, uh, the Lord's hand, man. All right? They were predestinated. That's it. They were predestinated to, to, to receive and understand the word, have that faith. See, because what is it saying that Hebrews, the fourth chapter, they heard the word too, right? But it wasn't mixed with faith. All right. So they were never able to, you know, uh, you know, obtain it, hold it fast. OK, you know, hey, they, they didn't let go of that golden ticket. But it was never meant for these people to receive that golden ticket. It's only the 144,000, which are the, the prophets, all right, the elect men. All right. And then those who believe on the will uh, either report of the prophets. So, uh, the rest of the one third, okay? The men, women, and children, all right? But for the rest of the two thirds of our people and the heathens, they weren't meant to get this and they're meant to die, all right? Yeah, yeah. because ultimately the most high is about balance, order, all right? There's a rank and file. Yes. I mean, you see that even in the world. Right. Everybody don't get to go to the NBA, all right? Those that produce, if the best they get to go all right and so the most high got the best too he has the the the, the least to the greatest right out there's a rank and five all right and whatever it is it, it's all you know whatever rank you come in that's all the spirit and power of y'all watch y'all was shot that's why i said hey the greater thou art the more humble thyself because you understand that it, it's, it's, it's all the will of the Father, man. Yes, yes. All right? We coming in at whatever, you know, position the Lord had for us from before the beginning of time. I just want to be on the team. You know what I'm saying? And produce for the kingdom of heaven. I don't know how you that even in the NBA, you got players that ride the bench, but they still hire caliber. Right. In, the, in the lower league. That's right. it. They still win. Everybody on the team. That's it. Win that championship. Get a dude to the end. Go get a ring. That's it. Get a trophy. Hey, well, hey, hey. You have those that's in the NBA that's riding the bench. They don't make it to the All Star game. You see what I'm saying? But they still in the NBA. That's right. So even with the elect, there's the All Stars of the elect. All right, which is the 144. And the 144 didn't, through their own power, make themselves that. It's all the power of the Most High God. Go ahead. It's uh, 2 Ezra chapter 2, and I'm going to start at uh, 38. Arise and stand. Behold, the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world. Which are what? Departed from the shadow of the world. So here it is. The scriptures talk about put on therefore as the elect. All right, I was just telling my little fella on the way here that, and I gave him an analogy of, uh, well, you know who Spider-Man is when you see that motherfucker with these webs start flying on a bunch of shit, you know, doing the little, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he might just pop up down on you and just come fly with the little spider, you know, web and shit. And they come on you and he got the mold, however he do, and just, you know, he do the things of Spider-Man. You know that's Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? He's putting on the role as Spider-Man. He's doing the things that the script, you know, said that Spider-Man would do. Where you Doctor Strange, motherfucker opening up portals and be like, you know, and that's Doctor Stairs, Doctor Strange. He's opening up portals. He got the great streak on it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, hey, so here it is, whatever the script, the scriptures says of the elect, then that's what the elect gonna be doing. 
they're going to be putting on their robe. Part of their role, the, 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 part of the description that the Bible left of the elect is that they would flee from the shadow of this world. Right? They wouldn't be about this world. They wouldn't care about the money, cars, clothes, the homes, the fortune, the fame, the success, some glory, some power here in this world. It says, uh, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Take that thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. You see that are clothed in white, which represents purity. How do you get pure? By going through the furnace of adversity. See, but our people, they want to put the furnace of adversity off them and live their best life. Like, woo, nice, man. They're, they're trying to go uh, through the, uh, the side door, okay? Right. All right, through the window, through the back door. Look, you you have to go through the, 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 the front door, man. Well, I think it's spoken about in John the 10th chapter, the first right. verse. Right. All right, there's only one way, man. Yep. That's it. You can't go any other way. There's no shortcuts, man. That's there's it. nothing around this, man. Oh, shit. I... You know? All right. But it says, um, back in 2nd Ezra, chapter 2 and uh, 41 now. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord. And it says it's fulfilled. All right. Fulfilled meaning, hey, that was the will of the Father. Yes. All right. And guess what? The will of the Father is going to be fulfilled. It's going to happen. Yes. All right. Go ahead. And it says... That thy people, which have been called from the beginning, called from the who? The beginning. Uh huh. May be hollow. You see? That was called from the beginning. And whoever was called from the beginning is going to put on, therefore, as the elect. They're going to give diligence in making their calling an election sure. All right? By doing the things that the scripture says of the elect. What you got, brother? It's Romans chapter 8 and verse 29. It says, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. And that's what it's ultimately all about, man. This is why this world is here, man. This is part of the reason that the Israelites would be conformed to the image of his son. All right? And we get conformed to the image of his son by going through the straight gate, all right? By walking in the footsteps of Yahweh Shai. It says of Yahweh Shai how that the captain of our salvation, he was made perfect through suffering. So now if we're gonna be made perfect, then we have to accept our suffering. We have to accept the straight gate. We have to accept the, 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 uh, the purification process, all right? The, the purification process, it ain't fun, y'all. Grievous. It's grievous. But it's only for a moment. It's just a little season, you know? See, that's the thing, hey, we're, we're, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're suffering temporarily to get eternal rest, all right? Yeah. This is it, just but for a moment. It's, right? it's growing. Hey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, because this is what the Most High is doing. He's cultivating us. All right? And when you're being cultivated and you're growing into what you're ultimately going to become, all right, there's growing pains. And we must accept those pains, man. Matter of fact, the, uh, uh, the Apostle Peter, he said, man, we glory in it. Not only so, we glory in tribulation. All right, because this is a legacy that's happening, man. And to be a part of that, man, it's invaluable. It's no words. Go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra 2 and 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads, he said, crowns, Damn. and was more exalted, which I marvel that greatly. So here it is, there's some men that's the Lord, 
It's going to bypass, meaning it's going to be destroyed. That's right. This place is a, a temporal kingdom. That's it. That's but it. the kingdom that's coming, what does it say? It's a world without end, an everlasting kingdom. That's it. Okay. I got a little bit more. It says, so I asked, back in 2nd Ezra 2 and 44, and I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh, and now are they crowned and received palms. Wow. And it says, then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the most high. It's the son of the living power, man. Who? Yahweh Shai. Who Go they ahead. have confessed in the world. Who they have confessed in the world, see? And the Lord said, blessed are those who's not offended in me. So that denotes that something could be offensive, but don't get offended at it. Because it's all for your good, man. All right? That you you gotta confess your Howard Shine in the world, man. See, but if you confess your Howard Shine, that means you about your Howard Shine's kingdom. And if you about your Howard Shine's kingdom, that means you against this kingdom. If you against this kingdom, then you're going to speak against this king. Right. If you speak against this king, those of this king are going to speak against you. And if they're going to speak against you, some people could be offended. Some people could be ashamed of Yahweh Shai. All right? But he said, if you ashamed of Yahweh Shai, then he going to be ashamed of you when he get here in his glory with his salvation. You don't get caught up in the salvation because you were ashamed of the one who's coming with salvation. It says, then began I, great, I greatly to commend him that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Woo! See, ten toes down. Stiff. You can unmovable. Alright? Steadfast. Rooted, grounded in the faith, settled. We settled in, Jack, and it's all through fix. All through, yeah. That's why when they say I'm going to fix this, yeah. you're going to get it right. You're going to make it unchanged. A fixture is it's there. It, that's a fixture. That's it's there. All right. And it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that's doing that. All right, to the elect. Starting off with the governing body, the teachers, the prophets. All right, and here it is, standing stiff, man, unwavering. You know what I'm saying? Stand things. You got something? Go ahead. Yeah, go one and four. Forty has he is chosen us and him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love holy and without blame how, how were we because he said that we, we're a holy people the Israelites what made us holy holy goes into being separate all right we're not like the rest we're, we're see we're we're a holy people we're a spiritual people 
while these heathen nations, they are carnal people. All right? They are carnal people. We're different from carnal. We're spiritual. We're holy. We're God. Right? But it, here it is. If you rolling with the flesh, you rolling with carnality, then you corrupt with that. What's up? Then you corrupt with that. Right? See, it says that. Hey, read it again, brother. Ephesians 1 and 4. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. So before the foundations of the world, he have chosen particular of his people, all right, to be about him. Because there's going to be the others of our own people that's going to be about this world. That's going to be about carnality. That's going to lean to their own understanding. That's going to uh, 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 establish their own righteousness. See, the most high God, he got the cop. Go ahead, brother. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you asked. I'm from ahead. Toronto, Canada, man. That's why. You know, I'm down here on business. So okay. We got our movement down in Toronto. So it's nice to see the brothers holding it down, doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. So hey, uh, 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 it's some brothers, uh, great millstone brothers out okay. in uh, okay. Canada, too. It may so, be them brothers you're talking about. Yeah, of course, man. We're yeah. Well, could be. But he asked, so go ahead. But go ahead. Uh, matter of fact, uh, like I always say, the Most High God, he got the copyright on righteousness. Can't no man, you know, tell me, oh, this is righteousness, when the Most High already told me what righteousness is. All right? He got the copyright on righteousness. He got the copyright on good. See, a lot of people, they, they say what good is. Like, even these heathen nations, whenever a, 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 a heathen nation get into power, they rule with their heathenistic way what they say righteousness is and not what the most high say righteousness is see we back here we want to be in the place where it's ruled with what the most high say righteousness is and not what man say righteousness is you see so go go back to that these is one and four uh-huh according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame for him in love. You see, without blame. How are we found without blame? Well, by having faith in Yahweh Shah. How do we show and prove our faith? All right, well, walking so even as he walked. All right, what he did. Hey, tell him one, brother. And what he did, the same do. To the best of your ability. All right, because he's the hero. So we're not gonna measure up <laughs> you know to exactly you know what the hero did that's why he the hero right. that's why he have the preeminence that's why he the chief yes, sir. all right go ahead brother this uh first john 4 and 17 herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world wow you see that so this is we we, we are we are following an example all right, and the greatest example to follow is Yahweh Shai. Right. All right, now there's other men who like behind Yahweh Shai who the Father gave to Yahweh Shai, who Yahweh Shai sent into the world, all right, to glorify him, to, to preach his word, to teach his word, all right? And so we also follow those men because we all come under a, 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 a teacher because that, you know when we come into this truth, we all got to be like that little child, all right, and humble ourselves. We got to be like that little babe. And babes, they have parents. So we'll always have a spiritual parent when we come in. And if that spiritual parent, you best believe it must be somebody who the Lord sent. Yeah. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I am. Even I also handle Yahweh Shai. You see, the Apostle Paul, he said, hey, follow me. Follow me. So that's why the scriptures talk about uh, be not many masters because you're going to be held with the higher condemnation. So if you're a person that's saying, follow me, all right, because all that says that they are teachers of the Bible, pastors, preachers, prophets, you're basically saying, follow me. And if you're saying, follow me, 
and the head of the pack is not our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, you in big trouble. You're going to be held with the higher condemnation. See, Paul, the Apostle Paul, he said, follow me. And he was cool with saying that. Because he knew that he ultimately was following Yahweh Shah. And whoever would follow him would ultimately, ultimately be following Yahweh Shah. So here it is, starting off with the apostles of Great Millstone on down. We saying, hey, follow us, even as we are followers of Yahweh Shah. You see what I'm saying? But again, you got to be careful. Because if you ain't following Yahweh Shah, and you telling somebody to follow you, you're going to be held with the higher condemnation. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, man, it's, it's gravely serious. The Lord's going to lay beat you with many stripes, man, because you know better. Was that Luke the 12th chapter? The servant that knew the Lord's will and did it not, he got beaten with many stripes. That's it. Go ahead, brother. All right, this is 2nd Edges 14 and 14 and 15. And it reads, Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. See, let go from the mortal thoughts. But, hey, we have those mortal thoughts. Because here it is, we're subject to vanity. We're here in this wicked flesh, where Apostle Paul said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. Therein lies the fight. It's a fight, all right, to let go from the mortal thoughts. It's a fight. All right, because that's why the Apostle Paul said, man, I find another, you know, a, a, a war. You know, a, another law in my members warring against the law of my mind all right so we got to put off this this flesh that wars with our spirit go ahead and 15 reads and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times you see haste ye to flee from these times and being about this present evil world that's right trying to live your best life here thinking about where you want to be 20 years from now. <laughs> 401k. What you got, brother? 401k. earlier, this is a treasure. This is 2nd Edra 6 and 5. It says, And ere the present years were sought out, and wherever the inventions of them that now sin were turned, before they were sealed, they have gathered faith for a treasure. Yep that have gathered faith for a treasure, all right? And that treasure is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, that's gonna lead to salvation and the kingdom of heaven, all right? And being one of the aristocrats in the kingdom of heaven, man. That's a treasure right there, man. That's right. Those that have gathered faith for a treasure, it clearly says they already been seen, the elect. Yeah it's, a, yeah, it's a done deal, man. The, 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 the roles are already cast. All right? It's already a done deal. It's just now the movie is being played out right before your eyes. It's, yep. The end. The is a, being filmed. That's, that's it. No, that's it. No stuntman album? Huh? No stuntman? Nah, man. This is it. <laughs> you know? Yo, yo, what you got, brother? I want to precept. Jackie, say, hey, hey, hey. It's over with. It's, hey, all the elect have been sealed. This is 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 2 and 19. And it says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach depart from iniquity. And that's what the elect is going to do, man. It says they follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. All right, so here it is. We continue to fight and fight and endure to the end, man. That's what the elect is gonna do, and Lord willing, we those men, Lord willing. 
Alright, All right, go ahead. Back up that second image. This uh first Peter chapter two and verse eleven. It says, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from flesh and lust which war against the soul. See? That war against the soul, man. From fleshly lusts. Yes. And see, that's what Satan and the demons, they work on your flesh. They put things in your path. That's why the scripture says, when thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for, tempta for temptation, man. All right? Because the tempter is going to be the seed. He's around too. All right? He says, like a roar, roaring lion. You know what I'm saying? Seeketh who he may devour, man. All right? This is the place, all right, where we fight. See, but who, we talked about the NBA. Who is going to produce, produce the righteousness that led to the win for the team of the elect? All right, because the elect, they're on the team and they're producing. All right, they, they're producing for the big W, the big W for the elect, man. All right, to win. Who is producing? Because you either producing for this present evil world to continue on, or you producing for uh, 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 Shah and the kingdom of heaven. That's why the scripture says, well, your uh, treasure is, there will your heart be also. Your mind is gonna be on that, and that's what you're gonna be thinking about, and that's what you're gonna try to produce for. Whatever your treasure is. Whatever you deem a treasure. See, we don't deem nothing in this present evil world a treasure. Everything that we see, we know it's temporal. All right, but what we don't see, we know that is eternal. And that is what we're about. All right, the kingdom of heaven. What you got, brother? I got two for you. Hebrews chapter 13 and 14. For here have we no continuing city. See, but, but in this present evil world, we have no continuing city, man. Right. Where we're ruling and governing our own selves with the way that the Most High gave us, the right. Yeah, it says, uh, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. See, but we seek one to come. All right? Yeah, we, we, we ain't got no hope in this world, but our hope is to come. All right, we understand that this world hastens fast to pass away. All right, and this world cannot comprehend the things that I promised to the righteous in the time to come. See, in the time to come is forever. And I just did a, a response lesson to a, a, a brother who did a lesson called Focus on Forever. All right, focus on forever. Focus on the kingdom of heaven. Our focus is not on, on nothing in this present evil world that's temporal, that's evil, where uh, uh, moth and rust don't corrupt and thieves break through and steal. They can have this, man. <laughs> they can have temple. They can have where wickedness gets to flourish. They can have it, man. I don't want it. I don't want no part of it. I just want to go through uh, 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 what I have to go through, my mission to learn and grow, be purified and perfected, all right, and produce for the team. That's right. Go ahead. Hebrews 4 and 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Let us labor. So now it's work. See, in the kingdom of heaven, we chill. <laughs> That's our rest. Eternal rest. Eternal chill. Eternal rule. Eternal living your best life. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, here's the you got. Uh, First Corinthians uh, two and twelve. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. See, we have not received the spirit of this world. All right. And, and now, at first, we had the spirit of this world. All right, like all did in this in this last age that we're living in. It says there was a, 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 a falling away, all right, of the nation, man, even the prophets. But as the scripture says, hey, the elect, 
follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. All right, we're going to be brought out of darkness into his marvelous light. But go ahead. Now we have, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of the spirit which is of the most high God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the most high. You see? That's this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And a measure of faith in it, man. Alright? To, to have uh, enter in and have pasture, all right? The pasture represent this this food, this word, all right? This living bread, all right? That we must uh, 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 congest, all right? This is that pasture for the sheep. And he said, you have to go through the door. There's one way. And that door is Yahweh Shai, man. Right. And the structure right. that he set up. All right, uh, somebody, you asked, what was done? What you got, brother? This is Hebrews 11 and 8. It says, <clears throat> By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed. Damn. And he went out, not knowing whither he went. It says, By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, more than a tabernacle, so not even houses. Like, right. I know I ain't going to be here forever. I don't right. know where it's going to be at. Yep. I'm going somewhere. Yep. It says, it says, with Isaac and Jacob, with heirs, the heirs with him of the same promise. Yep. Verse 10 is the point. It says, for he looked for a city which had foundations, builder and maker is the most high. You see? So that is ultimately what we are, man. All right, we're about the kingdom of heaven, man, the eternal righteous kingdom, knowing that God is here, we're on a mission. All right, and part of our mission was that we were gonna suffer. Part of our mission is that we were gonna be on the bottom. Part of our mission is that we were gonna be uh, 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 slaves and subjects and weak and poor and go through all those things. We had to experience that. It was all for our learning. And if I may say, because it, it talks about how he was going to inherit that land. So he had to live in that same land he was going to inherit like he was a, just a sojourner there. Right. And, and the scripture says that those things of old are a similar to of things to come. Yeah. So here we are, all right, we're, we're, we're going through the same thing that our forefathers went through. By what? By like the elders said, by the suffering, the tribulations, all right, the, the oppression that we have to be under, the, the, the trials, the, the, the circumstances of the flesh, to what only to inherit, uh, uh, inherit immortality alongside with Yahweh Shai, man. Yep. You know, Abraham had to sojourn in the very same land he was promised to as if it didn't belong to him, suffering that. That's it, you know? that's it. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans consists of the 12 tribes of Israel, the chosen children of the Most High God. That's right. We're not so-called right. Mexican, so-called Puerto Rican, so-called Black, and so-called African American. No, we're the Israelites, the special chosen children of the Most High God. That was for them. All right. The Lord, the King, the Bay, and Mark. Got this is Ezekiel 34 and 16 uh -huh. and it reads I will seek that which was lost and bring again thee that which was driven away and will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick you see all these things we had to go through but the Lord said well he's gonna put us back in our 
uh, 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 state that we're supposed to be in, but get this time perfected. That's right. Because he had made us a noble, fine, a holy, a right seed. But we turned into a degenerate plant unto him. But that was all because that was the will of the Father. We had to go through that. We had to experience that. But it was going to be the elect who, through the spiritual fire, uh, all right, through the spiritual fire, was going to be purified and perfected. And the rest of our people, they're going to have to go through the physical fire and whatever it is the Lord have for them, all right, to be purified and perfected. And, and that goes with the rest, Elder. That goes with the rest. It says, but I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. You see? Everybody gonna get their just due, man. Yes. Yes. All right? According to your way. Go ahead. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, the parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. The Bible is letting you know, man, that there's a particular number of our people that's gonna be saved. That's the elect few. Because according to the rest, that's the many. Now both is an innumerable number. You know what I'm saying? But you still have those that are gonna get caught up in the judgment and the wrath, all right? That is, is much more than the elect few. And that's all according to the will of the Father, man. All right? So the elect is going to put on, therefore, as the elect. They're going to follow the Lamb. Right. And the rest, they're blind. They can't see this. All right? Matter of fact, we can go back to that First Corinthians. Uh, you got to read that First Corinthians. Oh, okay. Yep. And I will bring third part through the fire, and we'll refine them as silver is refined, and we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord is my power. That's right. That's right. And then, uh, here it is. The elect are doing those things right now. All right. Well, let's go back to that. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess you can uh, start at five. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. Call but it in the power. Call it in the like first, first Corinthians 2 and 5. That your faith should stand in the wisdom of men. Read it again. First Corinthians 2 and 5. That your faith should stand. Read it again. First Corinthians 2 and 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. There we go. There we go. Sound a little bit better now. How are we talking? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we in this place. Hey, hey, we in the place, brother. All right. Right, right, right. That's these school systems out here. Hey, nice catch. Hey, let's, let's, let's get some book bags or something. Yeah, but the school is here. Satan, he mad. He the prince of the power of the air, boy. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Check this out. Put that back there. Right. Put that back there. Yeah, I got it. Put that back there. 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 Move it to the back. Uh, I was saying because it's going to go this way, right? So it's, it's, it's on the back side because if it flies, it's going to drag it back. If you see what I'm saying. He got it right here. Put in the power of the most high God. Uh-huh. Keep reading. How be it, verse 6, how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of, the, of this world, nor of the princes of this world. They come to not. See? All those that's of this world and their uh, 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 elites, 
you know, those that setting up these institutions called colleges and places of higher yeah, learning it's and, up, you know, all this stuff. You want to use the tape? Right, all that wisdom is going to come to naught. You want to use the tape? And the Apostle Paul right, said, we ain't speaking good. that wisdom. That's all right, we're speaking the wisdom from the power of the Most High God, who those of this world, they can't understand that. They can't okay. receive what we're speaking. All right? Because what we're speaking is spiritually discerned. All right, go ahead. Verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High God ordained it before the world unto our glory. Read that again, brother. First Corinthians 2 and 7. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High God in a mystery. You see? We speak the wisdom of the Most High God in a mystery, all right? And guess what? The mystery is only revealed to first and foremost his servants, the prophets. And then those men, women, and children of the elect that's going to believe on Yahweh Shai through the words of the prophets, through the preaching and prophesying of the prophets. You see? That's how it goes. It's a mystery. It's just like, you know, I always talk about going to see a mystery movie. Somebody who, a, 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 a producer and director and a writer, all right, who's so cold with it that shit, it's about 10 different characters who people say, oh, they, they think that's just the killer. But it's all, out of those 10 people who potentially could be the killer, and hey, you got your moviegoers who they think that all, you know, different people think that, hey, these 10 could be the killer. But it's actually only one of the 10 that's the killer. You know what I'm saying? So that's only... Man, man, bro. And he about six. Still, man. But here it is. How much more the scriptures that the Most High in His writing, where people think that oh, it means this, it means that, it means that. But you can't understand what it means unless the writer, all right, the one who's you know, uh, 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 like I, I got a, a number in my mind. Gotcha. <laughs> Don't nobody know what number I, I'm thinking, except the one I just revealed the number to. I revealed the number to him. So now he knows the secret. You don't. You don't know the secret. I ain't told y'all the secret. I told him the secret. It's a secret. And you can't jump into my mind and find out out of all the it, like how many numbers it is innumerable you know numbers it just it keep going and out of all of them you don't know which one I'm thinking of it's in my mind he know it because I told it to him Amos 3 and 7 says surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth his secret Woo! unto his servants the prophets so the prophets know the secret the prophets know the mystery they have a measure of the Lord's mind because it was given to them. And now we're speaking. Uh, what you got? Uh, this is Matthew 11 and 25, and it reads, At that time, Yahweh Shah answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hidden these things from the wise and prudence like them. Hey. And has he said, I have hid them from the wise and the prudent. The wise and the prudent is the ones that are setting up these uh, institutions called colleges, where they got the cemetery schools. I say the right time. Cemetery. Uh, <laughs> theologies, classes. The, the, the wise and the prudent of this world, they the ones setting it up. He didn't hear them. But the Most High God said he hid his secret. He hid his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He hid what he thinking. Thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and has revealed them unto babes. You see, you have revealed them unto babes, those that was going to humble themselves like a child to the will of the Father. All right? He's hid them 
from the, those that's of this world, man. All right, so when we come speaking, we're speaking in the mystery, like he just read. Go ahead and read it again, brother. Uh, Paul, read it, 1 Corinthians 2 and 7. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which the Most High God ordained it, for the world unto our glory. Keep going. Verse 8. Which none of the princes of this of this world knew. For had they had the known, princes. Princes represent the rulers. So the rulers of this world, they don't know the Bible in truth. They don't know the, the they don't know the Bible in truth. They're not telling you that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the chosen children of the Most High God. They're not telling you that. They saying those people over in Israel are the chosen people. They saying that the Bible is just uh, you know for everybody. It's like, uh, you know, you can just do as thou wilt, do what you want to do, just love everybody. You see, this is what they're teaching, but this is a mystery. The Bible saying. All right, keep reading. Verse eight, uh, first, first Corinthians two and eight, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known known it, they would not have crucified the Lord, Lord of glory. Uh huh. But as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, have, have heard. <clears throat> Neither as as have entered into the hearts of man the things which the Most High God has prepared for them that love Him. Keep reading. But the Most High God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit it searches all things, yeah, the deep things of the Most High God. You see, He has revealed it to us by His Spirit, man. That's how it go. He the one that give the increase. All right. That's why it says even of the teachers. He that planted, it ain't anything. He that watered, it ain't anything. But it's the Most High God that's everything, because He the one that gives the increase. Right, right. All right. Uh, 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 and, and a measure of His mind. All right, to the people, man. Uh, keep you reading that. And then we're gonna shut it down. Uh, verse eleven, First Corinthians two and eleven. For what man knoweth things of a man? Save the spirit of the of man, which is in, which is which is in him. Even so, the things of the Most High God knoweth no man. Knoweth no man. The things of the Most High God knoweth no man. What because no, because no man could jump into the mind of the Most High God. Right. So it's the spirit that's going to reveal. All right, it's the spirit that's revealed. And the Most High, He dictates the Holy Spirit, man. So this thing, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is spiritually discerned. If you're carnal, you'll never get it, man. And the thing is, it's already done. Who gonna get it and who not? That's why, again, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, man. Right. So uh, we gonna end it there. You, you, you had something before we go? This, this was Malachi 4 and 3, and it reads, And ye shall tread down the wicked. Start at 1. Started one. Malachi 4 and 1, and it reads, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud ye, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble, and the day that the that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither not nor branch. But unto you, uh, that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise Woo. with healing in his wings. See, if you fear him, that means you're going to obey him. Go ahead. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. And ye shall trend down the wicked, tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet Woo. in the day that I shall do thus, saith the Lord of hosts. Hey, call Halal Yahweh. This is the faith and the patient of the saints, man. All right, so we're gonna end it there. Lord willing, that was edifying. With that, we're gonna give all praises, all honor, all glory to... Shalom and a Bible ball. A Bible ball! Chemotherapy 2022. 144.